Oh shit. Yo. What up family? Welcome back to the second part of this session's little thing we got going on. I don't even know what I'm calling it. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider becoming part of the family at the end of the video. And if you're not new here, thank you for subscribing. Or if you're not new here and not subscribed, shaking my head at you. But we got part two of this 21 Pilots sessions, this storyteller performance, 21 Pilots, Tyler Joseph strips down their hits. Terrible title for this video, by the way. How am I gonna search for that? But first track we had Ride and that, mm, mm, you know, so good. It was about to end with Smithereens last track, so we're about to go and hit Smithereens right now. And I think I've heard this song before the original. I'm pretty sure I've heard it before. Once the lyrics start kicking in, I'll know if I heard it before, so I know like, to hear the difference between the two tracks. But you already know what we're doing, fam. There's not really much to say on this video because I done said it before on the other video. Like I always say before we start, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter, at the third earnest, just like it is on the channel, no spaces. Also follow the Discord. Discord's tight, I like it. I'm in there all the time. But let's go, we got Smithereen stripped down version. Let's get it. All right, for sure. I've been thinking too much 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 Help me I've been thinking too much I've been thinking too much I don't know what I'm gonna say on this video that I didn't say on last video. Cause last video when he hit the high note, it, he always seems to like you hit the high note out of nowhere. Like the high note just comes out of nowhere because that's not where you would expect it on the actual original version of the song. So it catches you off guard. And then he keeps going back to it and you're like, oh, 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 like damn. Just so pure, no words, you know? Just the way he's stripping it down right here. It's just like, cause the original song, it's like, it's good lyrics, but it's kind of like playful. It's like got a little playful bounce. It's got like a playful charm to it, the way he's saying these things. Where right here, when it's just him and the piano singing, it's like, bro, it almost turns into like a sadder love song, but the lyrics aren't sad, so good. Always been collected, calm and chill. And you know, I never look for conflict for the thrill. But if I'm feeling someone stepping towards you who can't describe just what I'm feeling for you, I'd go mm. step to a do much bigger than me. Ooh. And then he does like the staccato on the piano, the dirt, dirt, instead of like the long legato notes that he was doing before. Whenever he's saying something that he's trying to like, he's trying to bring what he's saying to the forefront, bro. And just the vocal control to be able to like hit those high notes, but not have to belt them out to hit the high notes. A lot of artists, when they go that high in their register, they have to like really open up their throat and like sing like from their diaphragm, like way deep in their stomach. But here it just sounds so fragile. It sounds like, it sounds like a thin sheet of ice that you could just snap, but he's still able to get to that note. That's crazy. And the lyrics are me, basically. I've never been the type that likes confrontation. Like, I'm that type of dude that just likes to chill, like diffuse the situation with verbal. I'm not the kind that likes to lay fists on people. I don't think I've ever gotten in a fight in my life. So for someone to make somebody feel like it's they're gonna take them out of their normal personality to defend that person, 
That's some real love right there. And in the original song, it sounds, like I said, it sounds very playful. Like, yeah, I know I'm gonna get my ass beat, but this is how I feel about you. And here it's like, I'll jump on that grenade to save your life. It sounds deeper. It sounds like a deeper message. I'm stepping towards you who can't describe just what I'm feeling for you. Right here, the staccato. Step to a dude much bigger than me for you. Messed up way 153 for you. I would get beat to smithereen. You know. And then he'll see he still keeps like that little fun energy in the piano, even though the piano makes it sound like much more of a romantic song. He still keeps that little blurner, blurner to like give it a little bit of energy and it's not so sad. It's not so like, man, my lips are real chapped. Can you see that on camera? I just like inhaled and a piece of my lip just went like into my throat. But anyway, yeah, like that playfulness, just a true musician in every sense of the word. I'll be in the corner taking notes And you know I've got your six while you're working votes But if I'm feeling Someone stepping towards you can't describe Just what I'm feeling For you i go Step to a dude much bigger than me For mm. you Stubway 153. Man, just like the little swag in his voice right there. Whew, clean. And did you hear the way the piano changed from the first hook to now when he's singing the second time? It was very staccato and it had a different vibe. It like gave an accent to what he was saying. And right here, it just, his voice just like blended into the piano a little bit easier. Like, listen to this. I go step to a dude much bigger than me for you. So right there versus Step to a dude much bigger than me for you. Dope, the way he changed it up, like same three notes, but just the way that he changed the way he plays them. Step to a dude much bigger than me for you. I know I would get messed up way 153 for mm. you. His voice right there. I would get beat to smithereen. I would get beat. I would get beat. I would get beat. Cause if I'm feeling Ooh, the area. Someone stepping towards you can't describe just Ooh. what I'm feeling for you. I go. He just like comes out of nowhere with something that I'm not expecting when I think. When I think I already know the way the session and the when I think I'm, like I know the chord progression, I don't. He takes the chords out and then he puts like a single note melody in there. Stop catching me off guard, son. I would get beat. Cause if I'm feeling. And then that airiness. Someone stepping towards you can't describe just what Ooh. I'm feeling for you. I go write a slick song just to show you the world for you. I know they think it's messed up to sell out for your girl. For you, I go step to a dude much bigger than me. For you, I know oh. I would get messed up way 153. Oh. For you, I would get beat. Did you hear like the grittiness on the 153? Did you hear the high notes that he was hitting where I was talking about how it comes from deep inside? Like you gotta open it up and like vocalize that high note. So we're getting like that little airy dainty high notes that are coming out so smooth. And then now we get this powerful ass high note in the same exact note, but it sounds completely different, completely different sound, completely different emotion. His voice and like what he is, the flexibility within his vocals, it's all over the place. He could basically sing whatever he wants. 
I'll probably venture out as far to say that he sings better than Adam Levine. And Adam Levine can hit the notes. Adam Levine's got a nice little voice on him, but he's got like a nasally, like, I don't like Maroon 5 a whole lot because of the way he gets up there on his high notes. And I like the way he's just like feeling the track. Like he's basically singing to himself. He's just like so in his own emotions, in his own mental state. The boy's good. For you, I go step to a dude much bigger than me. I could never hit that high note in my life. If someone put a gun to my head, I would say put two bullets in my head while you're at it, because it's definitely not happening. I go step to a dude much bigger than me. For you, I know and then that, I would get messed up way 153 For you, I would get beat Yeah, I would get beat For you, I would get beat Yeah, I would get beat For you, I would get beat to smithereens The way he says smithereens Yo. Thank you, thank you. You guys look great. Thanks for coming. That means a lot. Um, He's so awkward. Um, yeah, I got a few more for you. Man, I feel like this is gonna go by really fast. I just wanna like live in the moment. Because I have these headphones on, I can't actually hear anything you're doing, so I don't know if you clapped or not. So, so hopefully you like it. <laughs> Still don't know. All right, we got, we got another one here. Let's try it. So first off, I don't know which version of the track I like better for this one because this one is like solid, but the other version of the track, the one that's actually on the album is much more playful, obviously, because this is way stripped down acoustic, like warm one-on-one -on -one type vibes. And the track itself, like the, like the instruments and the instrumentation, they fit the lyrics of the song better because the lyrics of the song are like, they're fun, it's like he's saying something like very romantic, but very like in a fun way, like, oh, that dude's talking shit. I'm gonna get my ass beat, but I'm gonna step to him just so I can prove to you that like I'm doing what I got to do. But this version is just like <sighs> his voice just shines through so much better on these sessions versions. And I'm not saying that the songs are bad on the original tracks. It's just that whenever something's so stripped down and all you have is piano and voice, piano sounds like piano, you know, but the voice is what makes it like come alive. When I hear this 20 times in a row after I stop recording, I'll probably decide something different then, but who knows. But everybody that's here and made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching the video. I said watching. Everybody that made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like the video, please consider liking it and leaving a comment. Like I always say, that stuff helps the activity and the algorithm catch the video and send it out there for the masses to see that might not even be aware that we out here as a family. They'll see it in the recommended. Oh, what's this dude about? I keep on seeing his exact same thumbnail branding pop up. Let me click on it and see what we got. And then boom, subscriber, hopefully. And to all my current subscribers, all the current family, thank y'all guys for all the support. Like I said last video, we broke 40,000. I think we're at like 40,100 or 41,000. I don't know, I haven't checked yet. Like I said at the beginning of the video, follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter. That's where I'm most active, at the third earnest. No underscores, no spaces, none of that. Check out the Discord for the channel because the Discord's popping at all times. We got all kinds of different conversation going on over there. We got music, we got NF, we got 21 Pilots, we got sports, we got movies, we got shows whatever you're into we're into and I'm active on the discord so I'm not just telling you to go check it out and I'm not gonna be there I'll be there but like I always say I know y'all guys can go watch reactions with any of the reactors out there on YouTube because there's hundreds of thousands at this point it seems like so the fact that y'all guys are here with me spending about 15 to 18 minutes on average which is more than the average time of a reaction that shit means the world to me because I know y'all are here for me and not just the music and like I always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.